Hey yo! What up guys, welcome back to another one and today we're going to be cleaning a turkey. I haven't done one of these videos for you yet. It's extremely easy cleaning a turkey and I figured, you know what? All my viewers probably want to see it done. I know there's probably a bunch of you that have shot a bunch of turkeys and you know how to clean your birds, which this really doesn't apply for you. So all my beginners out there that have never cleaned a turkey, let's go. Well, I got the turkey on the ground here. It's just going to be a little easier filming it from a top view. But if you guys haven't checked out the duck's pocket knife, that is what I'll be using today. I will link them in the description below. Go check these bad boys out. All right, guys. So I got my turkey down here on the ground. Just a little easier doing it on the floor and a little easier filming it for you guys. But here's what we got going on. So I got the turkey on its back. And what you'll notice is this high spot on the turkeys basically on their belly. It's going to be the center of their sternum just like on a goose. Breasting a turkey is a lot like cleaning a goose. Breasting a goose. So what we're going to do is we're going to, in, we're going to cut in and just f cut the skin here. Break it. Break the skin. All you need to do is kind of puncture it really. It's just like a goose. Once you've broke that skin just like a goose, you're going to grab it and you're going to tear it back. Each side, grab it, tear it back. Push it back on all sides. Try to get it, try to get the skin pushed back all the way down to the wings. Now, the legs, what you're going to do is grab them and just going to pop them back. Basically, just so they're up out of the way for your knife. So pull that skin back really good, really far. And then off the top, make sure it's pulled all the way back so it's not in the way of our knife. So, there we have it. Here we go. I got all the skin pulled back. I got each side of the breast. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fillet right on the side of that sternum down each side and fillet each breast right off. Just like a duck or goose, but these birds are just... A lot bigger. So we'll start filleting. I'm going to go ahead and fillet this side off so you, so you guys can see it a little better on the camera. But just run your knife real close until you feel bone. Uh, when you feel bone, obviously, go to the bottom. You're going to run that bone. It's literally shaped just like a duck or goose, just oversized. So you want to fillet, finesse, fillet, finesse. Watch where you're cutting the whole time here. And just follow that rib cage down. It's really simple. Take your time so you get as much as you can. And as it starts, it just falls right off that plate. So, the side of this sternum here, there's a plate. And you just kind of follow that plate and you run it all the way back. If I leave any behind, I usually go back and pick it up. Follow this bad boy all the way up. And you're going to follow it right back down. Keep on whittling. That's all you got to do with a turkey. Uh, ducks and geese, I kind of just, I can just go, you know, and, and get them off pretty quick because they're such a small bird. But these turkeys, you want to take your time. There's a lot, there's a lot more that you kind of got to go around and whittle your way around. A breast in a turkey, guys, is very simple. Here we are here. Got into a little bit of blood, which I'm not the best turkey cleaner, but... Check that out. That is a big old piece of meat right there. Just a massive piece of breast meat. And that's what, that is what she looks like there. Just follow that bone all the way back and you'll just whittle her right off. These turkey have a lot of great meat, so make sure you're taking your time and getting it all off because it is some good breast meat. Now, a lot of times we keep the legs off here. This one doesn't have the greatest spurs, but if you do keep the legs and the spurs off here, some people will whack them here with a saw or something, but if you just take your knife and put it in that joint and then break it back, and then it will just cut right off like that. So there's our spur and our foot, real easy. You don't have to go taking a saw and whacking at it. Just a simple pocket knife will get them legs off really, really easy. Now on the beard, this one's beard is not very good at all, but a lot of people will come in here and cut the uh, the beard off with their knife, but you really don't have to do that. All you gotta do is just get a firm grip and you can literally just 
pluck this bad boy right off like that so you can get it all the way down to the bare meat to where that beard just comes off nice and clean now guys a lot of you are probably wanting to save your fans now what I do with the fan I know you can't see my lovely face but you know but grab that fan curl that fan up and grab it you want to put it all in one hand and bundle it up now what you're gonna see is when I cock it to the side like this you're gonna see the joint see this joint you're gonna go right underneath it where it attaches Take your knife, all you need is a knife again guys. Just bend it to the side and you're going to cut on that joint and you're going to feel it pop right off of there. And you got to saw a little bit. I know I need to sharpen my knife. I cleaned a lot of ducks and geese with it this year. But just keep chiseling away. Bending that, bending that to the side, see we're almost through it right there. We just have to cut through the back side. So there she is right there. So voila. There is our beautiful fan. Well, there she is right there. There is our lovely fan. Not the prettiest in the world, but not bad at all. I've been waiting to get a turkey down. Finally got it down for you guys. So I figured I'd do a little cleaning video for you guys. And uh, all this took to clean this entire turkey was just a pocket knife. So like I said, if you guys are looking for a good pocket knife, I will link the duck's pocket knife down below in the description. Man, she's a little dirty, ain't she? But go pick up a pocket knife if you guys need one. And uh, yeah, it gets the legs done. We got the beard, and now we got the infamous fan. But what you do with these fans is uh, a lot of people just pin them on a uh, cardboard, a piece of cardboard. You pin them back, and this fleshy part you can trim off a little more with a knife. And then just throw a bunch of salt on it and let it cure. It'll dry it out real quick. The feet, nah, I usually just nail them up and let them bad boys dry out. But everything can be done with a simple pocket knife. That's about all it takes to clean an entire turkey. Usually, I brought it back here to film it for you guys. But usually I'm cleaning them in the field and just breasting them out because I love me some turkey breast. But I hope you guys appreciate me showing you how I clean my turkey. Some easy ways to do it. It's very simple. It's extremely simple actually. So don't be afraid to get your hands a little bit bloody. Not even as bad as a goose would be. So not bad at all. Plus you get to keep the fan, the legs, and the beard. All to remember that great hunt where you killed that bird. But I want to thank you guys all for watching. If you haven't went to Ducks and picked something up. Whenever you do, it goes directly to helping the channel. So I greatly appreciate it, guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Thank you guys for watching. And subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Came through dripping, dripping. Came through dripping, dripping. Came through dripping, dripping.